of how far I've come in the middle of all my trolling. Okay, yes, I troll. Whatever. Troll land has entered the chat. Trolling is fucking fun, okay? Like, I am obsessed with being the troll queen. Like, literal troll land entered the chat. But in the I hate it here. Hey, what up you guys? It's Sassy Assassin here back with another episode of Illusion and Delusion, aka Amberlyn Reed. So in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to her latest video, 500 pound shower routine not click clickbait vlog. So what the fuck is this title and thumbnail? Like <laughs> she makes a video three days ago, talking about the truth about her weight loss journey. Pretty serious video. And she made some, in my opinion, some relatively good points in that video. She she had a bit of a, I'll say, a, a self-aware moment in that video. But now you're coming out with this shit video, uh, being 500 pounds taking a shower, and yet you're supposedly in the 480s, like almost 490s, like, bitch, with how, with how the, the, level, the level of activity that you do, you might as well be 500 pounds at this point. It is what it is, right? So, Basically, she's just been losing and gaining the same 80 pounds for over eight years now. Okay, I until she hits the over 100 pound mark, that will be progress. But as it stands right now, she's just losing the same weight that she's been losing that she's been losing for for years now. Um, and I also want to clarify about the whole live stream issue. I'm still trying to figure out stream yards. I'm trying to figure out a good time and how many videos you want me to cover within the live stream. And also whether you want me to cover the same person within the live stream or do you want me to also react to Foodie Beauty and maybe Life by Jen and maybe do some, you know, reacting to some of the Nader stuff as well. Like, I will put, a, you know, just let me know or I'll, maybe I'll put, just put a poll, a poll up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to figure this out but um it just it just give me time because um I'm just I've been trying to test it out okay and it just I, I keep on getting it wrong I, I I'm maybe I just don't have it set up right I don't know I just think I just need time to figure things out um so also I feel like I was pretty lenient in her last video and it's actually uploading right now because I'm a bit behind on the upload schedule. Um, I want to clarify that I am still suspicious about this whole outpatient program. Like, I, part of me is like, you know, take her word for it, you know, maybe she is actually in the program. You know, maybe she ha has been talking to a therapist. But then another part of me is like, this is bullshit. Th shit just does not add up. Like, maybe this is this person, this program is not even real. Like, I I need proof. Like, I, I just, I'm in the middle when it comes to it. Like, if she's back on the program, if there is a program, that's great. I support that, even though I wish she, she would do inpatient. But it's better than nothing, right? And I hope she sticks to it. Um, but when it comes to Amberlynn in general, I'm just going to always be in the middle when it comes to her because sometimes she does shit that makes me angry and I'm like, I don't give a shit about her. Like, I don't give a shit what she does, like, you know, lose weight or gain weight, you know, whatever. But then sometimes I'm just like, you know, I'm, I feel more lenient towards her. So I'm, I'm always going to be stuck in the middle. But as it stands, though, it's like, I'm an outsider, okay? And whether she loses or gains the weight, it's no skin off my back. At the end of the day, I can shut this off and 
live my life and not think about her and what she does, you know, which is pretty much what I do. When, I'm, when I click off, I, I don't think about it. When I stop watching, you know, the reaction videos, like to Chantel or other locales, like when I'm done with that, I don't think about it. Like it doesn't consume my time. I only allot a certain amount of time for this shit, you know? So it's like, that's as far as my empathy goes. Okay. Like, I'm not as emotionally invested. But at the same time, it's like, I'm an empathetic person and I like to believe in the best in people and, you know, be kind. I'd rather be a kind person and a good person and be fair than be just a negative person all the time. So that, that's just where I stand. But like I said, I do get angry and I just, I just throw my hands up in the air. I'm just like, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck this situation. And that's how I'm feeling today with this, this, this whammer, this, this video, this, uh, recent video that we're going to be reacting to. I'm just like, I just saw this title and I was like, what the actual fuck? So I skimmed through it and I was just like, really? You're going to teach us how to shower? You're going to prove that you take a shower? Okay. Okay, sis. Really, that that's what's come down to now is that you feel the need to have to prove that you take a shower. Girl, okay, maybe you're taking a shower in this video to prove a point, but who's to say that you're not that you're doing it on a regular basis? Cuz sometimes girl, you look dirty and unkempt. Okay? Like in a recent video, you looked like hell. There somebody posted a comparison v picture on one of the Facebook Amberlin Facebook groups and it stunned me because it was a picture of her from last year, okay? And then this year, around the same time. All right? She looked bigger last year, but she looked a little healthier. And the same picture and the po this year the, the recent video this is where I think it was either the, the I'm too fat for the gym video or it could have been either the it's either the grocery haul and then her trying the lamb the too fat for the gym or it's the truth about my way I'm not sure which one but she looked like shit it was the one where she was talking about getting the cellulitis again so I think it must have been that I'm too fat for the gym um but she looked like shit she looked wrecked like you can't sit here and tell me that everything is peachy keen and I will reaffirm this okay when you're wearing the wrong shoes okay <laughs> and it makes me laugh because it's like whenever I think about her shoes I think about the rain and petals eavesdrop <laughs> and it's like rain and petals eavesdrop. I ro I wore the wrong shoes. Rain and pe petals eavesdrop. I definitely wore the wrong shoes. Rain and petals eavesdrop. My God, I am wearing the wrong shoes. Like seriously, somebody needs to like post a poem. Like you know, she was doing like a poem contest, and it'd be rain and petals eavesdrop. I wore the wrong shoes, <laughs> because it's like so fitting. Um, but what? In all serious, she when she's wearing dance shoes, okay? Those are not meant to wear on a regular basis. Those are, they have a specific purpose, okay? And plus, they're not made for, I, I hate to, I'm not fat shaming when I say this, but people her size are not, don't dance. Like, they're not, actual, you know, they're not in that area, okay? They're not made for her kind of feet. She has lymphedema and I'm I'm from based off what I see and based off what she has told us back in 2019 I wasn't around for that time when she said she had lymphedema at least I don't think I was and she said that she had lymphedema now she's stating on the telenom that she doesn't have lymphedema so which is it Amber do you have lymphedema or you don't have lymphedema okay I think she does I mean physical evidence speaks for itself but hey I could be wrong it could be a type of edema but I, I think she has lymphedema and I posted on my community tab a place that she could go online and buy 
shoes for for her um, lymphedema that would be better suited for her feet because that's where I think that why the athlete's feet is 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 a constant thing because she's wearing the wrong shoes shoes that are not meant to be worn on a daily basis and she thinks well I can't wear anything else like blah 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 like my feet are my cankles are too big which is true at this point with how her body is how her feet is she can no longer wear normal shoes so she needs to either go to the doctor and be like I need to get like see a specialist and they can give me a prescription to buy special shoes or she needs to go to the website that I posted and that I posted to her telenom I, I wrote a question and I gave her and I told her the place where she could go I even gave her the link okay and told her that you you need proper shoes like I be, I asked her why I, be, I, I, I didn't do it anonymously and I maybe I should have had that as an anonymous question but I wrote her, I asked her basically, why, why do you insist on wearing these shoes when they're probably, you know, when you should be wearing special shoes? She never answered my question on the, on the Telenom website, and I'm not surprised. Um, but if you want to join me on Telenom, the, the link is in the description below if you guys want to ask me questions and stuff like that. I thought it was kind of a neat thing. I thought, maybe I should try it. And I was just keen on asking some questions because she's very, pretty much got me blocked on Twitter and Instagram, whatever, when I try to reach out to her before. Um, but it's like, she, the way she, she just doesn't take this situation seriously. That's where I'm trying to get at. She doesn't take it seriously enough. And this, this little clickbaity video here, you know, yeah, it's not clickbait. She actually does take a shower, but it's trolling. It's, it's, you know, it, 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 it's a form of clickbait, I guess. It's, it's trolling. Okay. I I just don't understand the mindset. Like, if I was in her situation, I'd be doing everything I could to alleviate it, you know? To, I would get the special shoes. I would see the doctors. You know, I would do everything. I would do everything and anything, you know? I wouldn't leave the chance. But that's just me, you know? And, have you know, I have to keep on reminding myself that... She doesn't think like me, you know, she, there's no sense, uh, I, it, there's no sense with her, you know, it's like, I, I feel like it's pr her pride that's standing in the way. She doesn't want to admit to herself that she needs to wear special shoes. Like, she doesn't want to admit to herself that she needs a bath chair. Somebody actually asked her that recently, like, why, uh, you know, are you using a bath chair? And she said, no, because I'm afraid I'll break it. Like, there are bath chairs out there for people of her size. Like, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised you can still fit in the shower because wasn't it at her size at where she is at now, she could, she could not fit in the shower. So it's like, I'm, maybe it's because her, her new place and that was Eric and Ricky's place, whatever, but it's just like, it's just so, you know, there's so many things. There's so many things. But anyways, um, let's get into the nitty gritty. I've talked too much now. I don't want this to be like an hour long video, so. I have this on, oh, sorry, that's, uh, I have this on 1.25. Also, happy, by the way, just for, before I begin, happy Father's Day, I well, belated Father's Day. Hope you guys had a wonderful Father's Day. And, um, I have some sad news also. A relative of mine passed away today. And, uh... I'm not very close to these people, to the, these relatives. Like, when I found out today, like, I really had no feelings about it because I'm just like, and I felt bad. I feel guilt. I feel, I feel guilty because I don't have any feelings towards it. Um, this person, I'm not going to speak ill of the dead, but they weren't really, I'm not, they weren't a really nice person. And, uh, what the, it just what got me, what made me a little emotional about the situation is that, um, the way he died he died of a seizure basically I didn't know that this my relative had seizures but he also had like congestive heart failure he was up for like um, he was supposed to get on the, the, the a list to get a heart transplant he had to lose a certain amount of weight because he was morbidly obese and he was like only 10 pounds away from like being on the list I think he uh, at some point lost 
lost the weight and then he gained it back, whatever. Um, and he, um, was not healthy. Like, he was very, he just wasn't doing, from what I gather, he wasn't doing what he was supposed to do to take care of himself. And my relative's wife, well, he's really actually married into the family, but, um, the wife, um, found him on the, de dead on the floor, basically. A very sad situation. Like, I don't know if we're going to be attending the, the funeral. Um, I don't think we are. Um, things are not good terms, whatever. Part of me feels like, you know, maybe we should because, you know, we are family and it's the right thing to do with them. Just like, well, we're not even close to these these relatives and we're not really on good terms with these relatives plus one well, you know it's a couple hours away I don't know if we have enough gas money like my mom hasn't been feeling good and it's just like I don't know I just I just feel really conflicted so but yeah other than that had a r really great Father's Day good cookout you know we did our we I love when we have cookouts just hanging out in the backyard whatever dogs over. My, Winston was so happy to see Molly. Like, Mo Molly instigates barking with the other neighbor dogs. Like, uh, my our neighbors, our new neighbors just got this chihuahua. Is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Like, oh my gosh. And, like, the family is so nice. Like, I just love it. I love our new neighbors. But anyways, let's get to... I'll make sure I was recording. Okay. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Oh my god, this is a long Simon intro. YouTube channel. So. Sorry. This was what I wore in my weigh-in video because I just filmed it. I just want people to understand the timelines here. I just wanted the video to be its own video just for people who are just interested in the weight loss aspect of my life. So I didn't want to make it like a part of a vlog. And yes, my painting fell. So that needs to be fixed. But we're about to try on a torrid moment. A torrid moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before we get into the tour that doesn't fit, um, I there was a weird incident that happened a while ago. I'm convinced our house is haunted. Okay, and then this is what that ties into the incident. There's this huge painting that my my mom has in her room that was painted by one of my uncles, and uh, I was nowhere near the room, but I knew that it fell because I I know it's it's fallen before when we were cleaning, whatever, and I know what it sounds like. And the damn thing fell for no reason. Because it, it's... It's like the... You know, the hook and everything, everything, it was fine. Like, you know, there's no way it would have just fallen the way it did. The way it did. You know, when he wasn't on there playing on the bed, whatever. And when I go in there to see, you know, to try to get it out from the back of the bed, because it's like right behind the bed, um, this cold spot. I mean, it was freezing. And the air AC in my mom's room was not on, okay? It wasn't running. The fan wasn't running in there. And it was a little warm in the other part of the room, but that one spot in the room was freezing. And I've seen orbs in my house, like little orbs. There have been cold spots. My animals sometimes, like my cat or my dog, will randomly just stare at a one, sit there and stare at a wall. For like my do my dog a while ago did it like for like an hour. He just sat there and stared at the wall. And I thought, is there something wrong with my dog? And no, my mom's like, there's probably a ghost there. I'm just like, wonderful. <laughs> and look, I believe in this stuff because I've dealt with this stuff all my life. Um, there's only two places that I've lived that ha haven't had that kind of activity, but my my home, like my the home I grew up in, definitely. Like my basement in the home I grew up in, like my friends and I wouldn't go down there unless somebody was down there, um, unless somebody was home, and I wouldn't go down there unless somebody was home because that place freaked me the fuck out. Like, ugh, like... Mm. I, even if I went back there and li and were to live there again, I I, w I would still not go down that basement by myself. Like it's just scary. It was huge, but like and it was it was a wonderful basement, you know. But like <laughs> scary as hell. But anyways, 
Sorry, a little side moment. The T, the, oh, the R-I-D, yeah. What's Torrid gonna do without me? The T-O-R, I-D. What's Torrid gonna do without me? That was the cringiest thing I've ever done. Like, yeah, pretty, pretty sure. cringy. This is the last. The way she gets excited about clothes, the clothes that don't fit her. In this bag, you guys, but. It's just insane to me. We have this whole bag, and we might have another coming. All right, so this is a shirt. She has a full bag that she has not even opened, and she has another one coming. Bitch. Size six. Just oh, wow. Teeth. I've been enjoying it's a them. moment, you guys. She actually bought something in her size. No, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just, it's a pet peeve of mine with her. It's like, why buy expensive clothes that don't fit you properly? Like the green one I got, absolutely in love. So let's try this one on. Oh, she makes me happy. Oh my God, I love. I adore. She actually looks nice. I'm not gonna lie. It looks great on her. You know why? Because it fits properly. <laughs> I love the colors. Totally my color scheme. So I'm going to give this. Since I there are some people say it's too tight on her. You know, even though it's her size, it's, it's she's always going to look misshapen because of her body shape. It, it just it is what it is. Out of ten, I'm going to give it eight. But you can tell it fits properly. Mommy, no. I the sleeves are not tight as hell. Look at this sweet Aww, little look at the kitty. She loves a little spot I made her. Oh, she's so sweet. Oh, oh, a big stretch. She's like, hello, mom. Oh, my goodness. Um, oh. My cat does that. Mama loves. Oh, oh she's making bread. Look at her. <laughs> so sweet. Okay, so I'm having a horny. <laughs> <laughs> what? I meant to say I'm, <laughs> I meant to say I'm having a hungry moment. What? Oh my god. So I'm having a hungry moment. So we're gonna try sweet medjool dates rolled in coconut. She can't even. Can you? Couldn't you have gone online and learned how to pronounce that properly? It's medjoola. Wait. You know what? I'm a hypocrite because I'm not even sure that's how you spell how you say it. I saw somebody remember. say it to me once. It's in the medulla, right? Am I right? Am I right? Oh, damn it. This mouse. I've never had a date. I could be wrong. I love, I love dates. But somehow just, I don't uh, think I'm wrong. So let me just High in sugar. Well, her up. Those kind are high in sugar. Well, dates are naturally high in sugar, right? Poopoo's in the kitchen. I Poo can't always afford them, though. Fresh. But I like those. So, Four of them is 130 calories. I never have the full ones. I'll, I, the hot, like the like the highest amount is two maybe. Wait a minute. She's kind of good. Super soft. So that's what a date tastes like. Wait, don't dates make you? They're high, very high in sugar. I wouldn't have the full serving. They're good. I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna say seven out of ten. If you're like trying to be healthy, creating something sweet, I think that'd be perfect. So I literally just woke up. <sighs> Both of the cats slept on me last night. We had wasabi on my legs and rarity on my chest. And now look at my eye. It's so bad. Oh my god. Why don't you take medication? Do you guys for have this? any suggestions for when this happens? Like does a simple yeah. eye drop help or take medication for your allergies more? Because this hurts so bad. And there's like a layer of something like over my eye. I hate it. She's it irritating itches, me it's today. And it's swollen. Mm. It's been a couple hours since I saw you. Uh, my eye is still doing its thing. It does feel a lot better though, thank God. But I have just been editing. Um, and I just remembered that this community post on my channel asking you guys to do like a, a poetry prompt i thought it would be really fun so i want to like go into it blinds and i want to read like three of them for you guys rain and petals so, eavesdrop i, I wore the wrong shoes i haven't clicked the comments or anything i really hope that you guys did this for real and there's not just like a bunch of hate comments Ugh, because i just wanted to do something Compose different myself. and fun um and i love poetry and i'm actually going to buy this like okay, writing you know prompt poetry book on amazon because i have been in the writing mood 
Um, so here we go, let's click it. Why can we just like skip over this? So this one's from Luna Fairy. Waves last holds. Oh my god. They said it's called E. A fake. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Their username is IC. Sure. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Such. Don't and care. I'm don't care. I'm sorry. I'm just not interested. Of a lot of my. I'm gonna read some of these. Thank you guys for replying. Talk about. Let's get to the shower. I don't get it. Never will. I don't know oh, if you why guys you realize say? how many who love my poetry. I love a lot of my new poetry. My old poetry. Who is she? I'm. I'm like not that person anymore. Um, at all. Bitch, you're the same person. You haven't evolved one iota. I love how she says that. Like, I'm not the same person anymore. Like, really delusional in. Delusional in. So, yeah, I'm going to go have fun. I'm going to go read some of these. Thank you guys for replying. Okay, you guys. So, I don't know why, but people are strange <laughs> when I talk about showering. I don't get it. Never will. I don't know if you guys realize how many vloggers or channels out there do videos that are hygiene related or like shower routine or they simply oh by the way i'm just picking out my clothes <laughs> so i'm about to shower uh or they simply just be like oh hey got out of the shower oh hey this is like the shampoo i use or blah 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 but since it's me the reason why it's different with you because one most of those people are not 500 pounds the, the, the ones you just scroll scroll through i only saw one person that was obese and she wasn't even as big as you. She was probably about my size. Um, because we question whether you have... There's your past where you didn't shower for about two months. Um, we still question your hygiene because sometimes you look dirty and unkempt. And we could literally tell that you haven't bathed. Okay? You were bed bound at one point and you weren't cleaning yourself properly. I mean, really, you're going to sit there and say, people are strange. Like, I just don't get it. Like, honey, you may be able to do it now, okay? Which is good for you, whatever, whatever. But are you really going to sit here and act like all clueless? I just, I hate it when she does this. Like, I just... Hmm, I just don't understand why but there's all this and this and this and this and really Amber we're the strange ones we're not the ones that didn't shower for two months didn't shower on a regular basis would have to use wax melts and candles and god knows how many fucking body sprays to mask the scent okay we don't, we're not the ones coming on here looking like a total fucking train wreck half the time. Like, you barely wear makeup anymore. And you said, whenever I have my hair in a poop bun, I'm depressed. Right? Like, you, you don't even make an effort to make yourself look good anymore. So that's why we question, girl. Because we can physically see it. Stop trying to act like we're the ones that are delusional when it's you that's delusional. I'm talking about it. Y'all think I'm trying to, like, prove something. Which, Whoa, well, this video is um, definitely... Let me I prove that I can t Let's do a be a normal person routine. and take so a shower. Like, let me teach you how to take a shower. This is so ridiculous that you literally feel the need to do this. This is everyday stuff, Amber. Nobody gives a shit. Really, when on the grand scheme of things, nobody gives a shit that you, you can take a shower. Not really. We don't need to see this. But go, on, go, go ahead, sis. Make this content. Make money off this bullshit why don't we you know what would be a really good video of you going to the gym right you taking a walk a full walk you going to the park with your dog 
you, you lifting some weights or something like that, you doing some exercise, that would be content. I, I would like to see that kind of content, but of course you won't do it. Or how about you going, you know, shopping online and buying the proper shoes? You talking about your health issues and talking about how ser how you're taking them seriously. You talk you you clarifying the whole lymphedema thing, huh? The sleep apnea thing, which I don't understand. She said, "Oh, I don't have sleep apnea, honey. You do." Like, come on. You sleep sitting up. You still do. But then, you know what, though? Maybe I'm being a bit hypocritical. Because, you know, just because she's overweight, maybe, maybe, maybe not every overweight person has sleep apnea, but, like, the fact that she's had to sleep standing up in the past and she was around this size is a clear indication that she may have it. Um... Because, you know, at the same time, people always assume that I, because I'm overweight, I have, I'm a diabetic, whatever. Like, I'm not diabetic. I'm not even close to being diabetic. Wait, wait a minute. There was a one point where I was suspiciously close, like, a little bit close to being pre-diabetic, but I didn't, I, I wasn't, like, at the mark kind of thing. But that was, like, eons. Like, that was a month, like almost a year ago so I'm not even anywhere near that now but people will assume because I'm a morbidly obese person that I must be diabetic but I'm but I'm not obviously the first thing I do is I choose my outfit I get my underwear like what am I gonna wear I think for now I'm just gonna throw on a maxi dress I like to wear those around the house but I just don't care so that's what this one thing is as well they're just like really comfy you should wear that out because it actually looks good I don't know why she wouldn't wear a maxi dress out. It'd actually be a nice outfit for her to wear that isn't leggings. Well, I have a couple maxi dresses that I wear. So, got that. Got some underwear. I have no idea what that accent was, but we're just gonna go with it. And then, I get two towels, because I will be washing my hair today. I use a rag. One of those out. And I understand yeah. why she doesn't wash her hair every day. Some people don't do that. I'm not going to rag on her for that, but it's whether she washes her body every day. I'll show you the products I use while in the shower, but once I'm out of the shower, I obviously do deodorant. I always do a body spray on my body. I like some lotion up. Okay, so no skincare routine. Have my towel sitting right here, but when I get out of the shower, I don't understand why don't I you have a skincare like routine to see the goods. Is that just me, or does she look bigger? Does she? Is it me, or is it just me, or does she look bigger? She's looking a little bigger than she has been. Hmm. Okay. So I'm just gonna throw it over, like so. We're gonna turn on the water. Let it get hot. Before also, I, I saw hair, somebody. I Brush it post on the Facebook group post a picture of of her and some of like her really earlier videos, okay, and how thin she was, like wow, she actually had a her body shape. She had a nice body shape and everything. She looked cute. Like there are some videos where I'm like, wow, she looks looks really nice, and now it's just like it just stuns me. Like when I saw that picture, I was like, wow, Amber looked like that. Like, holy crap. Damn it. Once I'm out of the shower, it took me like literally maybe 20 seconds to brush your hair. Okay, folks, okay. we're in the shower. I think I did get enough. I made you better. I'm better to sleep. Okay, so I'm simply. I can't believe we're watching my this. Hair, my box head. Ooh, baby, baby. Yes, girl, teach us how to shower. Baby. Because we don't know I'm how to do that properly. Days. The first thing I do is I shampoo my head. Okay. I'm using Nexus shampoo. This Why shampoo do we need so to see so this? Good. I don't understand. 10 out of 10. This is so, 
Now I'm just lathering Next is my hair, expensive. starting at the roots, and then working my way down. When I don't know what to film, you guys get little routines. Nothing wrong with that. You guys are just, you guys are more involved in my day. At least you're admitting it. You probably ever imagined, I'm sure. <laughs> Cause now look. <laughs> okay, so I got that all lathered. Now I'm, it I'm out. surprised she can actually exactly. stand up in the shower. I'm, I'm not gonna can you lie. Cut my hair? Cause I can't do this on my own. Alrighty, that is all rinsed out. Next step, we have some. You know, this is my. You know, I'm saying, you know, from and this makes me question whether she actually has the a severe back issues like she like she says she ha has or had in the past or whatever. Because like I can't even stand up in the shower. I have a. I have a, sh a, a chair in there because, like, sometimes, like, like, my just back gives out. But, see, I, I have that little baby rib thing going on that has always caused me back pain. And now, being this morbidly obese, it's, like, double whammy. But it's just, like, I'm just calling me shocked. Like, seriously. Or is she so sitting I down? You know, she could be sitting down. I just add this. I'm not going to fault her for it. If she needs a bath chair, I mean, I'm... I'm not gonna fault her for it. With how big she is, you know, it is what it is, right? Whatever helps you get the job done, as far as I'm concerned. So, like half of my hair, kind of from the bottom, my okay. shoulders down. I don't add any to like that top part of my head because that just makes my hair get greasier faster. I'm gonna put the conditioner in my hair and I let it sit in there and do its thing while I wash my body. My first step- Are you washing all your body, body though? Is, That's the question. I use this rag and I'm No, gonna girl, it, uh, you need to get yourself a loofah where you can get soap, all the parts of your soap, body. This makes me feel When I take a shower, I have a, so I have a, do that. Look, look, I have a loofah with a long ass handle, okay? And I scrub, like seriously, I will use a loofah and I will get every inch of my freaking body. I get every, like literally every crack and crevice I'll be clean I clean like seriously every single day and on gym days twice a day mm -hmm. I start at the top of my body and when I after I work out right after I like when I get in the locker room I'll, I have these uh good wipes whatever and I'll go in the bath in the in the bathroom whatever and I'll just do a quick wipe of certain areas on my body I don't want any chafing, whatever. I'm just, I'm such a, when it, I'm a clean freak, okay, when it comes to hygiene. Like, just in general, I'm a, I'm a bit of a clean freak. I mean, I have a messy sort of organization, but I'm still a clean freak. Like, just, it is what it is. <laughs> and work my way down. Shake it like a saw, shake it. Shake it like a saw, shake it. Don't fuck with it. And I Chunk, chunk, bunk, chick, bunk. How does this sound, sound normal speed? Hold on. Okay, it sounds sounds like a stick bunk. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna I'm speeding this up. Alright, sounds even funnier. This is my favorite part. So, y'all, if you've never had exfoliating gloves, I've always wanted to try those. So, I put those beautiful puppies on this is gonna make your skin baby soft literally so smooth you just aren't even gonna know what to do with yourself Thrilla. Thrilla on that. Yeah. i feel like michael jackson with my gloves on so now what i do is i take the shea sugar scrub right here and obviously i put this on the, the, uh, the but gloves. she's not getting it of her and back though i just put it all over my body oh my god it is literally the best is she able to like Re like get like certain she's not able to get certain areas that way though like there's like exfoliating like bath washes and if she had a, a long loofah she'd be able to you know or a, 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 like a, a, a loofah or something that you could exfoliate whatever I, I'd be getting all over my body like seriously just watching the private parts but um but I don't think she's washing all of her body She's in the shower and she's standing up and she's taking it. She's bathing, okay? She's doing it, okay? I, I guess so just for me, works. I just... 
I'm about to do now. And then after, I'm going to rinse the conditioner out of my hair. Okay? I'm glad we are on the same page, folks. I am glad I'm teaching you how to shower. It is just content after content. Am I right? Oh my god. I love to use gloves. Like, I just never get sick of them, ever. Get yourself some. I promise you will you will leave a comment saying, Amberlynn, you are right about them gloves. And I'm going to look at you and I'm going to say, I told you. I told you so. I'm done with my body. Just you clean them. And now. Because I clean my loofah, my, my bathtub after I'm done. I hope you don't see my butt and it's a little crack. That would be great. Paint toothbrush. Colgate. Wait, wait, wait. You, you do it. So now I'm No. Back. No. I do mine at the sink, dude. I don't brush my teeth. There? Are y'all still there? Is that a thing? Oh, are you still there? Okay. You know what this reminds right. me of? Like, you know the episode of Seinfeld where Kramer has a, gets a, um, disposal in his, puts a disposal in his tub, in his, uh, shower or whatever, and he's, like, taking a shower, cooking, you know, making a salad in there, he's, like, doing everything in there, he is, like, whatever, I'm just, like, this kind of, what? that, Brushing your teeth in the in, in the shower reminds me of that episode. We are clean and pristine. Oh, we're smelling good. We're feeling fun and fresh. Hello? Is anyone home? She must have gotten a <laughs> oh, super extra large like, towel. Okay, I'm going to put this towel over my hair, and then I'm going to dry my body off use all my goods get dressed and i'll see you there okay you guys so now i'm gonna let my hair just like sit in this for like 10 minutes and then i'm gonna take it out and there is my shower journey for you guys she doesn't even do a skin does she even wash her face i don't even think she washes her face ew ew that's gross that's gross like i have a whole skincare routine people ask me you know when i post pictures like oh my god do you have a skincare routine yes i do I, dude, like, I have a whole thing, like, seriously. Serums, face mask, everything, you know? Yeah. But anyways, that's just me. <laughs> um, whatever. You know, I'm just one of those people. Okay. I am done for today. I, I just, I need to, like, get off and just <sighs> relax. So like, share, subscribe, ugh. like, share, subscribe, comment below, hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns about this video or any of the videos I've made so far on this platform, please feel free to leave a comment below or hit me up on any of my social media accounts. And until next time, peace out my ninjas.